This may seem a funny question, but dating in the Philippines can sometimes be slightly different to what we experience back home. Over the years, the topic of dating a Filipino has got a lot of attention, and as a result, you will find a ton of information about dating in the Philippines online. There are so many opinions on this subject, so let's look at what the internet has to say about dating a Filipino. So this first comment is saying, stay away from me. Manila. It's funny because I get a lot of questions about what dating is like in the Philippines but also across Southeast Asia and a lot of people are interested specifically in online dating. Dating online in Manila is insane. This is to the point of even if you don't send a lot of messages or swipe a lot of people your phone is literally buzzing every five minutes from new people who send you a wink or send you a message or something like that and is seriously crazy. So this has its pros and cons. If you're somebody who's uh, not looking for a serious relationship, you're looking to have some fun or play the field, you will find so many people who are looking for the same thing as you. On the other side, you really do have so many choices and this is not always a good thing. Psychologically speaking, it's very difficult for us when there is a lot of choice and sometimes there are negative behaviours that are associated with too much choice. I would be interested to see if people in the provinces were more faithful than those in the capital. Now I'm not saying that that's the case but it would be super interesting to see. So should you stay away from dating in Manila? Well I don't think you should stay away from an area just because it's the capital. It's more about the person than the location but what I would say is that in my experience dating is completely different in the capital than it is in the smaller areas but it comes down to what you're really looking for. I mean if you find a Philippine and you're both on the same level and it doesn't really matter if you're in Manila or any other city to be honest. If you're going on the online dating option which uh, I mentioned about it's not necessarily going to be the best thing for a long-term committed relationship because you'll find a lot of different people on those apps. Put it this way online dating in Manila is certainly an eye-opener. So we have a comment from a Filipina here and she says number one she gets jealous easily when she saw her boy friend being flirted or flirting. Pine doesn't trust other Pines in most cases. Yeah this is a, an interesting one because there's well this is not really talked about a lot but there seems to be a lot of affairs and cheating going on and this is not just of course in the Philippines but I have noticed it a lot in the Philippines and I have a lot of friends who are Westerners as well as locals and they tell me about stories and situations that have happened in their own life and this is so much more common than I've experienced in other countries. Perhaps if there are any Filipinas listening to this they can explain uh, the reason behind this. And she also mentions uh, she fights insanely to the death, she throws things, screams, shouts etc etc. And she's clingy as F. Uh, PDA, public displays of affection, she's on that thing. Well with these two I tend to disagree. Public affection is not common in the Philippines and it, it is often frowned upon so I, I don't agree with that whatsoever. And with the fighting and screaming I also think that's more of an individual thing. She easily got influenced by the environment, particularly the social media. Uh, okay so social media in the Philippines is massive and I mean literally Huge. A few years ago, the Philippines was actually number one in the top social media usage countries across the world. And at the moment, I think they're in a top three or top five. Thus, social media is still very common. But what's important to remember is that these comments and everything that we're talking about today is a generalization. And the individual characteristics will differ from person to person. So let's take a look at what Michael is saying from Australia. After living 50 years in Australia, a country where attractive girls are hard to find, I felt I was in paradise when I moved to the Philippines. Most of the women are wonderful with only 2% being gold diggers, possibly due to them being cheated on. So it's clear to see that there is a lot of opinion. Now there is a big difference in dating a Filipina depending on the location and whether she is a modern Filipina or a more conservative Filipina. Modern Filipinas have a lot of western views and beliefs 
beliefs, but on the flip side, conservative or traditional Filipinos put a big emphasis on family, religion, and so on. So for example, a close friend of mine who is in his 40s was dating a Filipina and she was in her 30s. However, she was incredibly traditional and she even asked her parents permission before dating him. So whether your date is a more modern or traditional Filipina is something to consider. You will meet all kinds of women and they will be attracted to you. And this could be the good women, the bad women, all kinds of women. So then you can focus on those decent women. But the question is, how do you become a decent guy? Well, one of the most important things is to be the alpha that you are. For example, don't do what every guy does as soon as he comes to the Philippines, which is sign up to Tinder, go on to Facebook dating, continue swiping, swipe, swipe, swipe. Instead, focus on your day game. High success rate are found offline. So if you see a nice Filipina at the park or at the coffee shop, then go over and have a conversation. Keep it friendly, keep it lighthearted, and keep it chill. One important topic is on the subject of long distant relationships. You see, with videos, I tend to focus on the data and the research and use that to create a video. But with these kind of topics, long distant relationships in the Philippines, there is no data. So it's best to take this with a pinch of salt, but on the topic of dating a Filipina, long distant relationships don't tend to work out very well. I know that some people are interested in uh, open relationships, and that can work out well if you're having a long distant relationship in the Philippines. But if you're looking for a committed relationship, from my experience and all the stories and the feedback that I've received over the years, long distant relationships don't tend to work out very well. But there are some who have an amazing long-term relationship and uh, get married and have kids and build a family but simply based on the information that I've received it's not the best decision. 